Hello everyone. I am Spilly of Good Games Guys uh, and Motorcycles Vancouver. And now the land closet and the server room. So I'm here to show you a really, really cool toy which I've just purchased for myself. So this is an unboxing video. This toy I've purchased is called a software defined radio. And what a software defined radio is, it basically allows you to virtually imitate the circuits needed for any type of radio um, using a software interface. So let me show you a little bit what, how it works and what it is and then I'll explain a little more on how to use it. So let's check it out. Okay, so software defined radio. So look, let's see what it comes with. So these are about twenty dollars. Um, I got mine for a little less than that. It comes with some software. I like these mini CDs. They're always a lot of fun. The little tiny ones. So that's cute. It comes with a handy remote, which will allow you to use the device wirelessly. As this sets off a radio signal, it will be picked up by the device. So that is that right there. Don't know if that you can see that well. There we go. Okay, we've got an extended basic antenna. As you can see, this is it adhes adhesives to wherever you like. But um, this is is not the main antenna I'll be using. This is one of the antennas I'll be using. It's a male to female connector, as you can see there. This being the male end because it pokes the female okay and we've got our software defined radio DVB T plus and minus D DAB DAB FM and SDR all of these devices can be listening to listen to with this USB stick so it, it interfaces through USB 2.0 um, it's a very basic piece of equipment. Let me take it apart for you. You can check it out. Okay. So there's the equipment there. The way that it actually works, this uses an open band to capture essentially all the different frequencies in the air. It's a wide, wide band capture. And then you use a software to in in interpolate those signals. Uh, after honing into a specific frequency, um, so yeah, it's very, it's a very interesting device. I really like these guys. Uh, you can use these to listen to things like airplane transponders, FM and AM radio. You can listen to um, cell phones. You can listen to private security devices. You can listen to um, weather networks and coast coast guards and police radios and fireman radios. You can listen to emergency services and all sorts of other really cool stuff. So for you know 10 bucks which is really inexpensive when you think about it something like this is a great addition to anyone's nerd lair safety kit, survival kit, anything like that. If, if everything was to go bad all you'll need is just a laptop with a Linux operating system. You'll need GNU, which is um, the software defined radio interface, and uh, one of these guys. So check out the rest of my videos if you want to see how to use this and listen to all those things we talked about. It's very cool guys. Make sure you check it out. Okay? So, Spilly of Good Games says, see you later. Spilly, Motorcycles Vancouver here. I just want to uh, do a quick follow up on that video about the SDR equipment which I just unboxed. Um, a couple important details before everybody freaks out. <laughs> okay, so the truth is in Canada where I live, listening uh, to any of these types of signals is legal and has been legal since 1996 when the premier passed a law 
um, with the intentions of preventing any further um, issues, further regulation, further problems of the further de development of wireless radio technologies. And it was a very important decision, it was a very good decision, and uh, we have to thank our premier at the time for that, back in 1996. So good for that, uh, free communications. Now, uh, this is a lot like using a ham radio. You can listen to the truck drivers and things with these. It's very similar to that. Uh, in Canada, you can use it, and you can also transmit on a variety of frequencies legal. This device will allow you to transmit on all those frequencies. Now, <clears throat> one of the things I do need to urge uh, is that some of the states, for example, uh, do you do require a license to use these devices. And in certain frequencies, in both the U.S. and Canada, you are required to have permits or licenses, um, or at least be registered to transmit on certain frequencies. Uh, for example, if you were to start screwing around on the uh, Coast Guard frequencies, or if you were to say, and now you can absolutely do this with this equipment, let's say that you watched the YouTube video and you figured out how to spoof a, a plain transponder header, uh, and you made um, you made it look like there was a plane right above the airport runway just sitting there. Um, the autopilots of the incoming planes would actually divert because they would see this transponder radio frequency and it would say there's a plane about to be where you're at, imminent impact, and it would revert. Um, so you need, to, you need to know that if you do anything like that you will be immediately arrested. They will they will triangulate the signal using at least three different towers, which they'll have within the area. They'll they'll run a very simple math equation to figure out where you are, and they will come arrest you. Uh, so, do not fuck around with these things. It is very important. I personally generally use it just for listening and understanding um, ray frequencies, learning about this technologies, learning about old electronics, new electronics, all about how radios work. Uh, diving into the spectrums and, and understanding interpolation, you know, I'm not a math guy, and this stuff is all math. Um, but it's it's not boring. You can listen to stuff and, and see things. It's very interesting. Um, so I think everyone should get into it. Check it out. They're really inexpensive. Do not mess around, because you can. Remember, if you need your license, just apply for your license. It's probably like $50 in the state. You'll get your little license. It'll, it'll say you're allowed to do it. You just have to show that you understand the, the importance of not transmitting on certain frequencies and not transmitting bogus stuff on other fre frequencies. Um, enjoy learning about technology in the world. Um, get your equipment. I got mine off of eBay. Uh, if you want to see the rest of my videos where we explain how you can do this yourself. Um, I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you where to get the software you need. A bootable CD or USB stick that'll boot everything right into the program for you, so you're good to go. Um, it's going to show you how to use it, how to actually hone in on different frequencies, and then when you get really advanced, we're going to show you how to uh, actually decode signals, digital signals in real time. Um, so, for example, certain police stations use encrypted signals, uh, certain things use digital instead of the analog signal, um, they use blips or beeps, ones and zeros, different things of this nature to encode things. Um, but we're going to show you how to de decode those in real time, which is very cool. Very cool. Listen to everything. There's a lot going on around you guys. You should check it out. So make sure you like and subscribe. Check out the rest of my videos. Thumbs up. Okay, I appreciate the help, and I will see you next week with another video on some more of these fun guys. Once you have these sitting in your uh, sitting in your lap, cheers, guys.